Historically, retention shooting is considered a high liability area of instruction. It doesn't have to be if there's some foresight put into how we're going to actually teach people how to do this. And there's a drill process that anticipates where the failure is going to come from and tight control is imposed on people's motor functions. That's why I use my voice and I don't use a buzzer or a timer, which tends to impose startle. This is how we can get a less confident marginal shooter with min minimal exposure to shooting. First name again? Michael. Michael. Michael doesn't have a lot of experience. He's trepidatious about being out here. How can we get him through a line, of a string of fire like this? Because we have a drill process. Usually when people learn retention shooting, it's an addendum to a larger GP Defensive Pistol 101 course. Quite often the instruction is cursory and he'll say something like, all right guys, this guy's right on top of you and here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna fucking skin that smoke wagon, hit him in the eyes, blast him and get out, go do that shit. That's like the, the level of instruction hey, that you receive before you actually do some shit like that live fire, here's what I would do, I'd sit that shit out. I'd sit that shit out, all right? Think about what you're doing. More and more when I teach, uh, I'm giving the public insight into how and what we do. You as someone who is shopping for firearms training, largely do your research on the internet. Largely you do that on social media. Social media is designed to do one thing, give you a fucking dopamine hit. It is. And there's a distinct lack of collegiality and scholarship in people who are coming up teaching other people firearms training. Insight into the process for you is really important. It's important to me that you be informed. It's important that you understand why is Craig $650, $750, $800 and this guy over here who's on the internet rolling around in dirt with T-guns, uh, 500 bucks. It looks kind of the same. It's not, it's not. That's the difference between 33 years of running ranges in every setting possible. That's the difference between teaching retention shooting successfully in a lesser developed country through an interpreter to a population that clicks when they speak and nobody's shooting themselves. That's the difference. That's the difference in a mentorship process to make sure that the next generation coming up knows how to teach people. That's the difference in generalship of the range when I stand and have the big picture and Brian and Scott are in the weeds giving individual corrections and I'm not occupying my mind with that shit so I don't miss anything. That's the difference between me hearing Brian give personal instruction and understand that he's occupied with that person and I shouldn't start the drill process until he finishes. That's the difference between Brian understanding he has to use brevity when he's giving individual instructions and not turn this into a private in a public class of 22 people. That's what you're paying for. Is that level of attention to detail, that level of collegiality, okay, and that standard of training. That's what, that, that's what you're buying. That's the difference in a glutted market of people who are more interested generally in being somebody versus doing something.